day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, let's make a Tinkercad basketball hoop. Start by hitting New and choosing 3D Design. I'm going to name this BB Hoop. You can name yours whatever you want. And let's start by bringing out what's going to be the pole. Hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville. We're going to type the number 5 and press enter. I'm going to tell you to take the height and let's make it 90 and press enter. Let's also make a backboard, bring out a simple cube. The numbers that I liked went like this. We did 4 for the thickness, 42 this way, and I'm going to tell you that 36 is pretty cool for the height. I'm going to change the color of my backboard to white. Just for fun, I'm going to hit T for transparent so it looks like glass. And then I also want the square in the middle. We're going to make that with the red square. We'll even keep the red, but we will make it super thin. We're going to do Control D to make a second one and turn it into a hole. I'm going to tell you to do Shift Shrink in this direction, and the number we want is 16. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And then we'll shift select those two pieces, choose a line, make the red one the boss, and choose middle, 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 and group. Now let's press W for work plane, put it on our shape, do D for drop, put the work plane back on the ground, select those two, choose L for a line, and we want it to be middle, and we want it to be front. I'm going to click on the red one, and I'm going to make it real thin. I'm going to do point 0.2 and press enter. And then do show all to bring it back. Friends, we are going to make our hoop with a tube. When you bring it out, I'm going to tell you the radius I liked was 15. I am going to set the tube at point 0.5. And of course, you can adjust these later as you make it more and more challenging. And then I'm going to leave the sides and steps at 16.4. Let's select those, do the L for a line, and once again, make the white one the boss. And we want it to be centered. And then I'm just going to nudge it back with the arrow keys. All right, everybody, let's make sure we got all our parts where we want. I'm going to hit W, and I'm going to hit D for drop, so that comes out to the front. I'm going to now select the entire hoop, and I'm going to do Shift, Nudge, to move it back and then I'm going to do control shift nudge to lift it up I want it just close to that pole you can do control down to get it exactly where I want I'm going to grab all of that and I'm going to nudge it back friends with that done it is time to make the launcher we're also going to adjust a setting let's make our world 400 by 400 so you can see after you've built the first launcher you can do more and more launchers with this fun little hoop we're going to build it by first making a pin. So I'm going to set it right out here. I'm going to look at it from a corner. I'm going to do shift rotate and I'm going to spin it 90 degrees. We're going to then do shift squeeze and I'm going to make it super small. Let's go like size five and let's stretch it really long with the black handle. I'm going to raise it up, control up or control shift up to get it up in the air. And then we're going to bring out a torus. Once again, looking at it from a corner, shift, rotate, stand it up. We're going to align those. Let's do L for align. Make this one the boss. Choose the middle. Choose the middle. And choose the middle. Now we do need to adjust this. I'm going to tell you to make the tube one. I'm going to tell you to make the sides all the way down to like eight or nine. And the steps all the way down to ten. I am going to stretch this a little wider, just like that. If you want to double check your L for a line, that would be smart. Bingo, it's lined back up. Now we're going to bring out a cube. We're going to stretch it long. I'm going to do a little over 100. I'm going to do it skinny. And then I'm going to do shift select. I'm going to do L for a line. And I want it to go to the top of that, to the middle of it, and I'm going to go to the middle. Now, because we want this to launch, I'm going to stretch the back end longer. I'm going to do shift select to select those two, and I'm going to group them. I also want to have something that's going to hold the ball. 
So let's do W for work, Blaine. Let's bring out this wicked cool Taurus again. I'm going to tell you the number we want. This time is 0.5. You can keep the radius. You can stretch it a little longer. You can use the black handles to get it perfect. And then raise it up. And bingo, you've got something that will hold the ball. I am going to do L for a line. And make sure it's in the middle, which it was. Let's group that. And let's put a sphere in there. This will be the ball that we shoot. Right now it is size 20. I'm going to tell you you want something like size 12. If we put the work plane back down to the bottom and we rotate this, we want it so that it sits down like that. You'll notice if you do D for drop, it fits in. Now we can take our post and we can shrink it down so it's in the right spot. And then we do need to take that ball and do control down and move it into that area. Friends, that is our launcher. Let me show you what it looks in the motion simulator. So first we have to wait for that to settle. Then we need to make this one so it is static. We need to take all of this and we need to make it static. When we hit play, you'll see it settles and nothing happens because we didn't have something to launch it. Friends, let's fix that now that we've got all these pieces in place. Simply go back and let's pick what we're going to launch. I'm going to start with just a basic cube. When I lift it up, you can see this shadow. I want it to collide with the front of our launcher. I'm going to raise it up a little higher, which you can also do with Control Up or Control Shift Up. This time, friends, when we go back to the simulator, zoom out so we can see better. I'm going to pick a material. I want this to be steel. I'm going to make the ball rubber. I'm going to make my launcher wooden just for fun. And I'm going to change its color to brown because that looks cooler. And friends, when we hit play, <laughs> shot number one was a miss. All right, everybody. So this is what I find so fun. You can keep adjusting, moving, changing the placement, whatever as you try to make a bucket. So let's see how close we can get. Those are just some little modifications. When we hit play, that one didn't do it. So you back up and adjust again. It's probably going to take a lot of trial and error and you may have funny results like I did right there where I changed it to steel and it shot way off the screen. But if you like what you did, if you either make a bucket or you just think what you made was cool enough to save, you can always stop the video, click share, pick which style of video you want to make. This one will look cooler, I think, with the one-to-one. -one. If you hold down shift and right-click, you can drag your scene where you want. And when you hit create video, you'll either have a copy of your amazing miss or your amazing shot with your super cool Tinkercad basketball hoop. Friends, I hope you've had a total blast with this and you're finding new and cool ways to work with the Tinkercad Sim Lab. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have